I was happy to be pulling up off an urge to sell some dope, make a drop. And he said, won't you try this? I said, God, I don't smoke that. And you know what I'm saying? He said, just try it. So I free base one time, one time, free base and became a stone cold drug addict off of my own product. You know, I used to get calls, especially when I was in the league, that your, your brother's in jail, or he done done this, he done done that. It was tough to deal with because I knew the struggles that he was going through and what he was dealing with was the cause of him acting out like that. Even though he would be gone two, three days, week, anytime he come back, it's always push to change. It's always push, you need to, you know, you need to stop, you need to change. It was 1.15 in the morning, I'll never forget it. Got down on my knees, somewhat high, not gone, but high, buzzing, and accepted Christ high as my personal Lord and Savior, and I have been clean and sober and completely set free from that day forward. Clean up our lives and make us kingdom disciples, Father God. Teach us how, Father God, to live for you. One thing that I've learned that a Christian will talk Christ, but a disciple will walk Christ. So many pastors are leaving the ministry. Thousands a year are leaving the ministry because it wasn't what they, quote, thought it would be. But it's not about the glitz and the glamour and the cameras and lights and sound systems, it's, it's about hard work and working with people that aren't always easy to work with. I have been doing church for 50 years of my life. Still drinking, still smoking, still fornicating, still just living my life like it was golden. Cause no one challenged me to make that change. It takes the Holy Spirit, my God, to help you say no, my God. When you wanna answer the phone, but your flesh say yes, answer, but your spirit say no, don't answer it. When you go to church, if your pastor's not connecting to you, if he's not opening your mail up, you are being preached to. My husband is passionate about what he does. Somebody give God some glory! My God! And sometimes that can leave a very isolated place, a place of loneliness. Because where does a pastor's wife go when she's hurting? Tell them how things are going. And they may not be going right. But I tend to get out of balance sometimes where I do ministry, 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 and I neglect my marriage. People are people. Sometimes we remove pastors from being people. We are people. And we have faults, and we make mistakes, and we go through things just like everybody else. My mindset has been, I went hard for the devil. I'm going to go hard for Christ. That's how the name, going hard for Christ, got started. My number one goal in life is to seek and save that which is lost.